Okay, this is a uh, Overhoff SP1400 tritium sniffer. Um, you might question why I'd want a tritium sniffer um, not working in a nuclear power station or anywhere liable to uh, find tritium. Um, basically, it has APS, which when switched on detects tritium or beta only. When switched off, it will actually uh, detect radon, etc. It's got twin iron chambers and it literally compensates between the two. There's an alarm level on it. There's a remote control, presumably if it was fitted in a, a bank, um, mains powered or with a charger feed to it in a bank, sniffing a stack. You've got the zero feature, so you turn it on, check it's at zero, and then obviously it needs um, a period of time, a minute or so, before you obviously uh, turn the pump feed, which is uh, switch up there on, and you get a reading. Um, basically, it's meant to have a, uh, a filter, um, so that the air is filtered and dried. Um, I'm yet to actually uh, get the desiccant beads, but what I've actually bought is a uh, prime gravel cleaner. Um, this particular one is uh, the Mini, the Interpet brand Mini, and it's the 1709. Um, what I've done is I've actually got the sports drinks with the uh, the white plastic top that you pull up, pull the clear plastic um, cap off, and then drink through. I've got one of those in there. Um, which is stopping obviously the wall synthetic filter wall going in too far. This is on with solvent weld glue, plumber's solvent weld glue. There's the the filter foam in, oh sorry, filter wool in there. I'm going to put desiccant from a reusable um, dehumidifier um, desiccant bead. Another piece of foam. If we look in the end, you can see that um, I've got another one of those drinks um tops in there to stop everything coming out through the, the the two piece adapter if you keep the original smaller piece of tube if you take this sliding adapter on the left hand side off you can actually twist the um smaller tube in and it will withdraw the foam or the uh the synthetic filter wall whatever you're using it makes it a lot easier to get it out um so that, that's basically it um it will detect radon how well it will work long term whether it will get contamination in the the iron chambers who knows but it definitely definitely can detect it at the moment when the pumps run um, so it should be an interesting project